What's up everybody, it's Fix in here with a quick crafting guide for you guys. We're going to be going over the amulet I showcase in my Ice Spear Totem's boss killing build. However, this method does work for other builds out there, so you could also get like uh, all level skill gems and fire skill gems, for example. And instead of the multi, you could get like fire dot multi, biz multi, you know, anything like that. So this method is going to work for most plus two amulets out there. So first step is to buy a fractured base. Um, and make sure that you do get the base amulet that you want. So for example, the amulet that I need in my build is a Citroen amulet for the strength and dex. Just, you wanna make sure that you get the correct one so you're not you know, screwed on your attributes later on. Uh, it's also very important as well to make sure you get an item level 84 or above. I will put the trade search in the video description for you guys just so you guys have that, but just remember it will be a Kitrin amulet. Just change whatever amulet it is to you know whatever you want. Um, so the whole cost of this is going to be about 10 to 15 divines, depending on how lucky you get. So with that being said, I would probably go ahead and spend a little bit extra currency just to get like a close to max roll. So you got like a 37% 5 divines, 36% uh, 3.8, so it's a pretty big difference. So it just kind of makes, you know, whatever you want to do uh, to spend that, look at this, 9 divines for 38 just for 1% multi. So you, know, you can kind of pick whatever you want. I think when I bought mine, I spent 3 divines and I got like a 35%. Uh, the extra three multi wasn't worth like five or six divides to me, uh, but it could be to you, so do that if you want. So purchase that base there. We're going to go on over to Craft of Exile, and I will walk you guys through how to do this. So step number one is actually pretty tedious. We're, we're going to be using Orb of Alterations uh, and Augment Orbs to hit plus two, plus one all active skill gems. Um, very tedious. You're going to be clicking for a while, my friends. Very sorry for you. Uh, it's going to take you about 3,000 alteration orbs and 1,000 augment orbs. So pretty rough, but it is pretty straightforward. And once you get it, it's going to look like this. Prefix. Oh, you know, let's do skill. Plus one to level one skill gems. It's going to look like this. Okay, cool. So what do we do from here? Uh, we're going to regal it. Now, we are hoping for a suffix on the regal, but we'll see what we get and I'll explain either way. Uh, so we did get a suffix, and it doesn't even matter what you get, by the way. It literally doesn't matter. So we got a crappy suffix, whatever. Uh, so this is actually very good for us. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go up, and we're going to do cannot roll attack modifiers. Uh, it's a suffix, so cannot roll attack modifiers. We're going to craft that. I think it's one divine uh, to do that. It's either one divine or two divines. Um, and then what this is going to do is it's going to let us, first off, it blocks all the suffixes. So all that we can do is add a prefix right now. Um, and we're going to go over to Harvest Crafting, and we're going to Augment Cold, which is, I think, 15,000 yellow and one of those like crystallized ice uh, life forces. So it's a little expensive, but it guarantees that you're getting plus one to cold or whatever you want. So like fire, uh, you could do the fire one, you could do, you know, whatever chaos, you could do any of those and you're guaranteed to get that plus one there. Um, cool, so we're also hoping that the way this works is it's going to remove one random modifier to give you that cold modifier. So we're actually hoping that we don't remove plus one of all skill gems. That'd be bad. Good news is that we have a 66% chance of actually winning the roll and not removing it. So uh, let's see what happens here. Plop. Okay, we got very lucky and we did not, well, not necessarily, I guess, very lucky, but we succeeded there. So we're plus one, plus one, multi. It's looking good here. Uh, so because of this, since we hit the suffix in the beginning, we're able to attempt to get a veiled modifier in here that's good for our build. But for instance, mine would be like projectile damage and projectile speed. Uh, so what we're going to want to do here is craft uh, any prefix, doesn't matter. So let's just craft like life. Um, and we're doing this to block all of the suffixes. Or I'm sorry, all the prefixes. And all we could do right now is add a suffix. So we're actually going to exalt slam it. Flat. And again, it literally doesn't matter what we roll. So now we're going to remove uh, that craft there and we're going to do prefixes cannot be changed, which is a suffix. We're going to hit that and then we're going to hit it with a uh, veiled chaos orb. And we're going to hope that we get a veiled prefix. If we get a veiled suffix, that is rather unfortunate. Um, I guess it depends on whatever your build is, but most likely you're going to want to roll a prefix here. Uh, so we, get, we got a prefix, so now we're going to unveil it, and uh, we did not get what we wanted, but you know what? We did get the plus 57 maximum life, 
Um, so that's actually not too bad there. And maybe one of these other ones would be good for your build. Let's just go ahead and select this here. So what we're gonna do now is we are going to uh, get cast speed. Uh, so we're gonna do uh, prefixes cannot be changed once more. We're gonna add that on there, which, and every, by the way, every prefix that cannot be changed is two divines. So keep that in mind. That's why this does cost, you know, anywhere between 10 and 15 divines. Uh, from there, we are going to harvest craft again, and we're going to reforge caster. Now, reforge caster is going to guarantee that we get cast speed. Obviously, we're hoping for a tier one cast speed here, but we'll see. Plop, uh, we got a tier two cast speed, so not too bad. Uh, so we're almost done here. All we have to do at this point is add on a frenzy charge, which is there you go, and we're done. That's a pretty solid amulet there. Plus two, uh, we got a little bit of life, we got great multi, we got the frenzy, and we got cast speed, and we're looking really good. Now, if you really did want to get like a tier one cast speed, all you have to do here is to prefix it's gonna be changed, uh, and just keep doing it, and then reforge caster uh, until you get the, the tier one, right? Um, but it's gonna take a little bit to do, and that's obviously gonna be a decent chunk of currency uh, to do that. Um, but you know, we're totally fine with that and hitting it with that frenzy and we're, we're chilling. So that is how to do it if you hit a suffix on the regal. So let's go all the way back here until the very beginning. Let's add on the skill gem once more. Skill gem, where are you? There we go. Okay, so let's go ahead and regal it and let's do it until we get a prefix. All right, so we actually did get a prefix here, which again is not the best. It's better to get a suffix. Uh, the reasons it's not good to hit a prefix is because we are now not able to use the Veiled Chaos uh, orb method to get that extra damage. Uh, not a huge deal because you can just continue the craft and then sell it and then use that currency to just basically start over and you actually make some money doing that as well. Um, okay, cool. So here's what we're going to do uh, in order to uh, get everything that we want when we hit that prefix. We're going to craft any prefix with the crafting bench. So let's just do like a life or something. We're gonna craft that on there and we do that because we're now full up on prefixes we're actually now going to exalt slam and it's going to give us a random suffix doesn't matter uh even though we got tier one again doesn't matter uh from there we're going to do the exact same steps that we did with the other one we're going to do cannot roll uh, attack modifiers bam we're going to craft that on there um and then from there that is where we do the harvest craft we're going to augment cold same thing here, you have a one in, what, one, two, three, four chance, 4% 4 chance now instead of a uh, one in three, so it's actually a little bit better odds that you're not gonna remove that level of all skill gen. So let's hit it and see what happens here. Uh, okay, good, so we did not uh, remove it. So we have plus one, plus one, and our crappy prefix there. Not a, not a big deal, whatever, right? So from there, we're gonna do prefixes cannot be changed. We're going to hit that and then we're going to go back to our harvest and we're going to do reforge caster just like we did in the other one. We're going to hit that and the only thing that it can run is cast speed. There you go. And luckily we do have an open suffix which we can then craft on the frenzy charge. Sometimes you're not going to have that ability um, which again sucks but it is what it is. And there you go. You're done. Plus one, plus one, multi, cast speed and frenzy charge. Pretty good. Um, yeah, and yeah, super straightforward graph. It's gonna cost you about 10 to 15 divines. Uh, pray to R and Jesus that you do hit that uh, suffix when you originally uh, regal it. Not a huge deal if you don't, but if you do, you have potential to get the God Amulet. All right, cool. That is all I got on this one, guys. I hope this did help. If it did, hit that like and subscribe button, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.